Hi there, I'm Tim Ross from My Road Reel, and welcome to The Power of the Short. In this episode, we're talking to actor and filmmaker Matilda Brown. Matilda's the creator of the Fox short form TV drama Let's Talk About. She also starred in Rhodes' mockumentary film The Camera Eats First and is a My Road Reel judge. Matilda, thanks for your time. Pleasure. What do you think the advantages are of, of short films? What, are, what do they give to us as human beings? Why, what's their attraction? When it's good, it's so clever. Like when you see a really good short film that's told in three minutes or seven minutes or something and it's, it moves you or it, you connect with the character in it um, or it shows you something different or it ma opens your mind mm. in any way, it's really clever and it's mm. really inspiring. you, you know. What? You're the reason I hate myself. How do you tell that a story that you've either thought of or heard is is going to work for you in a, say, in a, sh a short film format? Something that can make me feel and, like, make me think and question something resonates with me far more than something that's just a little bit, you know, kind of clever and mm. tied up in a little bow. Like I think sometimes you need to follow the formula until you're kind of getting it and you're sort of almost bored with it yourself so that you then try something new. Whoever you are, wherever you are, you took my dad without asking. Now I want to renegotiate. I always just try to keep surprising myself. Just start with something that that you genuinely find interesting or an idea or a concept that genuinely interests you mm. and then try and make something around it. How do you take one story and, and keep it short and concise? I think you potentially write a 10 minute short film yeah. and you just edit it. Be brutal with your work and get it down to the bare bones of the story. You know, sometimes it doesn't, you write a t 10 page story and you get rid of the first four pages because mm. they're like the crap that comes before, oh, the story starts, actually starts That's here. There. This is when it gets interesting. Should you share it with people or should you be saying, oh, just trusting yourself? How do you know? I think it's really good to do that thing where you you tell people. Yeah. It's really hard to do that. That thing of saying to someone, I'm making a short film, and then them going, oh, cool, what's yeah. it about? And you're going, oh, this is the bit that I hate doing because yeah. I'm not really sure of it, but I'm going to do it anyway because I'll know as I'm saying it where it's not working. Yeah. That's always where you sort of like, you're like, and this is a bit that I don't really know about, but, and then you've got to think about that. Bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to engage someone. So if you can't do it, you know, just in that, you know, you want to see someone's like face light yeah, up yeah. when you're talking about something. So if that's not happening, um, make, come up with something else, else like yeah. throw in like, I don't know, like a zombie or something. <laughs> like, don't do that. But <laughs> yeah, I don't love zombies. <laughs> Say it to yourself. Yeah, I drive yeah, like, along in my car all the time, just like, saying my ideas out loud because I get better at telling them that way. Mm. And then you sort of start to find the beats as well. Yeah. Because if you've got clarity in your mind, you've got clarity when you shoot it in terms of you can, yeah. if and you also, can tell the story. If you can have that idea kind of like going, then you're like at the point where you're like, when you sit down, it just kind of write, it almost writes itself. Not always, but um, it's definitely easier than going, you know, starting and just kind of sitting there and going, oh, I don't really know what happens yet. So, you know, all that stuff is kind of mm. done if, you're just talk if you've just talked it out with someone. So if you're um, writing something and then you think, oh, it needs something that's probably out of your budget or it needs a piece of music they might have to pay for or it needs this car, mm. it needs a, a well-known actor or something, do you, do you compromise or you just go for it? Don't make your script around that. Yeah. Like, don't go, this is only going to work yeah. if I get yeah. blah, blah, blah to be in it. Make it easy for yourself the first time. There's thinking cleverly, like just outside, not relying on those things necessarily is the way to go. Mm. Um, there's actually a few websites for music that are great. Where, like I think Moby has a website that you can go on to. He just makes free music for yeah, people's right. short films. Yeah. Don't let the setback stop mm. you from doing it. Just, just be some, creative. Yeah. Just, in all aspects of it, just try and be creative. Do people, do you think they get too worked up about the, the technical side of things? I think you forgive a lot of that when something just um, grabs your attention, mm. when you're just taken away by the story of the person or the character or um, this journey that you're going on. I think you forgive a lot of technical stuff. Sound, I think, I don't think you really ever forgive sound. No, I think sound is a really, really... Yeah, get sound right, component. guys. 
Seriously, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just it's annoying yeah, when it's can't. like tinny and you can't hear. Yeah. It takes you out of the experience. So if you start and you make, say, someone's making a film, and then you've got that and it gets in and it does well or whatever, what do you do next? That I think actually that's probably the hardest part. But that's why you do something like submit a short film to an online festival mm. because then they do all of that stuff. You've immediately kind of got people behind you who have created a platform. Yeah. So that's kind of taking away a lot of the hard work. Yeah. Making a film and then submitting it into festivals, that costs money, that's time. You know, you're sort of um, you're doing it to a lot of different ones, so it's not like it's a specific like your film is for a specific themed thing. Mm. Do, do you know what I mean? That, I think, is the hardest mm. part when it's all done. And it's actually, yeah, it's not like, making it. How do I get people to see this? All the more reason to submit. To my road reel. To my road reel. <laughs>